All right, I am switching things up today and sharing all of my favorite Amazon finds throughout my home. You guys know that most of my home is thrifted or Facebook marketplace, garage sales, antique shops, but today I thought it might be fun to tidy up my home and kind of share with you some of the items that I've purchased on Amazon and maybe it would just be a help to some of you. I know I can't link a lot of my home decor, but today hopefully I can share some things with you that I have throughout my home that maybe you can incorporate into yours. So I'm also doing some DIY in this video with some Amazon purchases. So I can't wait to take you guys along and I think it's going to be fun today. So I wanted to start off by sharing a favorite <laughs> Amazon purchase. I actually bought this back in January and it is my women's study Bible. Oh my goodness, I have been loving this Bible and I know you guys are going to love it too. It has the most beautiful details and there are devotionals incorporated throughout the Bible, which I love. And you can just see the chapters are so beautiful. Each chapter has this beautiful illustration. There's also actually illustrations throughout the Bible for certain verses that they highlight, which I really love. I don't know. I've just really been enjoying it. I also purchased these highlighters. They're kind of like a crayon texture. And they come in the most beautiful colors and so I just thought I wanted to start off the day by sharing my Bible with you because it's really been something that I've enjoyed reading through. Now I wanted to also start in my bedroom because a lot of my bedding was actually purchased on Amazon. My duvet cover that you see here it's like a soft tannish brown. It's a cotton linen blend and it has the prettiest texture. It's like sort of a wrinkled, relaxed uh, fabric. Another favorite Amazon find in my bedroom are these beautiful gingham pillowcases that I have on my bed. I love these so much. They have the prettiest like ruffled edge on them and I have three of them on my bed. And I don't know, I just, I purchased them on Amazon and I was very surprised by the quality of them. I think they're so cute and I love the, uh, the gingham on my bed. I just think it's, you know, a pretty accent. And it doesn't come with the duvet color, but the two shades of brown happen to go really well together. And so anyways, yeah, I thought I would share both of those items with you. Now there is another item in my bedroom it's a little bit older, these lights that we have on either side of our bed, they're adjustable and they are a really pretty brass finish. These actually also came from Amazon and I think that they give you the option of hardwiring them or you can plug them in, which I really like because we have moved ours and so um, I'm glad that we didn't hardwire them even though I love that look a lot more <laughs> than seeing the wires. Um, I just think they're really pretty and uh, they are perfect for reading at night in bed and so I wanted to share those with you. Now, there's not a whole lot else in our bedroom that I can think of <laughs> that is from Amazon. The only other thing that popped into my head as I was tidying up was just the paint on this dresser. I gave this dresser a makeover. You can find the tutorial on my blog. We sanded the drawers, stained them, and then I painted the outside of the dresser with a chalk paint that I really love. And that is actually, um, it can be found on Amazon. So I will link that paint for you as well. Now, moving on to the downstairs, it really, um, it was tough there for a second to think about what I had actually purchased from Amazon um, because there isn't really a whole lot. You guys know if you've been following for a while, most of my home is thrifted or secondhand. Um, in fact, I really don't ever make a huge affiliate income because I just don't have a lot of affiliates to link for you guys. <laughs> I really don't. So much of my home is from the thrift store. Um, and I love to be able to inspire you guys and show you that you can create a beautiful home for less. But I also like the idea of having a unique home, items that are one of a kind that not everybody else has. And so I don't find myself shopping on Amazon a whole lot just because, 
you know, I don't want to have what everybody else has. That being said, there are items every now and again that, um, you know, that I've purchased that I thought I would share with you. And one of them uh, that I thought you guys would really enjoy are these coffee table books. A lot of my home decor books I have purchased on Amazon. And this particular book is one of my absolute favorites. This home is stunning. I look at this book over and over and over again. And actually, I have a few other uh, books that I'll share later on in this video that I also uh, purchased on Amazon that I think you guys will really enjoy. Now, I'm always moving my furniture because when the boys wrestle, everything gets moved around. <laughs> I try to tell them to wrestle downstairs, but it doesn't always happen. So this lamp that I just moved back to the center of the chairs, this brass lamp, was actually an Amazon purchased years ago. And I am just now deciding to center that uh, picture here, or that painting, I should say, over in this corner. I had to live with it for a few weeks first, but I think I really love it here. Now, as I move on to the dining room, I could not think of a single item in my dining room that came from Amazon, and I'm so sorry about that. I tried hard <laughs> to look around, but just about everything is secondhand. Now, as I tidy up the homeschool items uh, from the morning, that did make me think of the post that I did on our sunroom. I have a whole post about some of these organizational uh, items, and some of those are from Amazon if you want to check it out. I'll link that blog post for you guys. Um, but over on this side of the sunroom, the piano is just always a mess. <laughs> I'm always trying to tidy up music from the boys practicing. Uh, you can see here that Gabriel is trying to learn how to play the guitar using the tablet. We definitely need to invest in a music stand so that they don't have to sit on the floor. <laughs> as they try to learn but over here on this side of the room these little sconces came from amazon i totally forgot about those i don't need to turn them on on a sunny day like today but that's sort of what they look like they're really pretty i love the brass finish and here's another book that i know you guys are gonna love it's one of my favorites and i will link this one for you as well it also came from amazon and it is filled with so many beautiful images. Okay guys, so I know today's video is all about Amazon home decor finds, but I wanted to share one of my absolute favorite family owned businesses with you guys, and that is Antique Candle Co. Now, I have been sharing Antique Candle Co. with you guys for some time. There's a couple of reasons why I love this company. First of all, all of the candles are hand poured right here in the United States using 100% natural soy wax from domestically grown soybeans. They use premium fragrance oils that are hand picked by thousands of candle testers. And these candles are paraffin free, dye free, and cruelty free. Now Antique Candle Co. just came out with a few new scents that I just had to share with you. They are so amazing, and one of my favorites is Sun-Kissed Citrus. You guys, I wish you could smell through the screen. This candle is amazing. It has these notes of citrus and pineapple and sweet mango. I can't describe it. It is so good, and I lit it for the first time yesterday and just loved the way that it smelled. They also came out with some beautiful new Lux candles with a little bit of a different design than the traditional mason jar that Antique Candle Co. is kind of known for. Some of my favorite scents are pineapple coconut, which is absolutely amazing. I've always been a pineapple coconut fan. And also they have one called Clean Cotton. And I thought that I would not like that scent when I arrived in the mail, but it, it smells so good. It's not a soapy scent, which I thought it would be. It's this sweet, clean, fresh scent. Georgia Peach is a favorite, Mama's Kitchen is a favorite, so I will link this company for you guys. If you've been looking for clean candles to burn in your home, this is a great option for you. Again, I love the fact that they're hand poured right here in the United States. It's a family owned company and I know that you guys are gonna love them just as much as I do. I actually have a discount code that I'm gonna share with you guys. I'll put it here on the screen for you and I'll include it in the link below so that you can take advantage and get 20% off of your order. I'll also include a list of my favorite scents so that you can refer to that list when you are placing your order. 
Anyways, I just wanted to give them a shout out. I love to support family owned businesses and I hope you'll check out that link in the description. So while I'm in the sunroom, I thought I would grab the supplies needed for my little DIY project. I can't wait to do with you guys. I just need to grab some rub and buff and then a little sponge brush. I try to keep some extra. All of my craft supplies I keep up in these bins here in the sunroom. And I am going to go ahead and get started. So let me show you what I picked up from Amazon. It's just a tension rod. I think it was like $6. It's black. And then I also got some little cafe curtain rings that are brass that I'm going to use to hang up some cafe curtains in the kitchen. So I've put down some paper placemats here to kind of protect my table from the paint, the rub and buff, and I am going to First of all, I'll go ahead and see how wide I want my tension rod. I wasn't sure at first if I wanted to put it between the cabinets above my sink or if I wanted it to actually sit inside of the window. Here's the rub and buff. I actually decided to go with the European gold, I believe. I think I like that better than the Grecian gold. It has sort of an antique gold finish, antique brass finish, I guess that reminds me a lot of my cabinet hardware. And I loved the way that it looked over the black because with the black kind of showing through here and there, it just almost gave this aged appearance. And um, I don't know, I, th I think it turned out really beautiful actually. So rub and buff is not difficult to use. I've seen people apply it literally with their fingers. Um, it does have kind of a strong smell, so you'll want to open up a window, but I can't believe how well it goes on. Even this rubber cap here at the end, it went on beautifully, it dries quickly, but you can see that my brass rings are just a little bit different now than the rod itself. So I decided to go ahead and brush each little ring with a rub and buff as well, just to sort of age those a bit as well. Um, it seems like a tedious job, but really it went very quickly. I just sat down and got it done probably in less than, I don't know, 10 minutes. Just kind of roughly brushed each one. I wasn't super picky or particular. I just wanted to get a little bit of that rub and buff on each ring so it didn't have so much of that brassy shine. And it really made all the difference. So um, before I go ahead and mess with the fabric, I want to let that rod dry completely. I'm going to do some dishes and kind of tidy up my kitchen and show you some of my favorite Amazon finds in my kitchen. Now, again, there's not a lot, but there are more than what I realized. So first of all, these little dish scrubbers, you can grab these on Amazon. I love the way these look in a kitchen. They are so beautiful and they do a great job at cleaning my dishes. And I just think that they are so much more beautiful, especially when you can display them in a collection next to your sink. So Anyways, now that the dishes are done, I'm going to go ahead and get my fabric ready. Now, this fabric was thrifted. If you missed last week's video, I shared the thrifted fabric with you guys and how I was able to use this hemming tape uh, so that I didn't have to sew the hem. And now I am just going to put my rings on the rod. Now, I actually started off doing it like this because I wanted to get an idea of how many rings I wanted to use on my rod. So after I got the rod up into the window, I realized it would be a lot easier <laughs> to take the rings back off and work on the curtain right there on the countertop rather than stretching over the sink to do all of my little pleats. Now at the same time, I could hear my tea kettle. You guys know I enjoy a cup of tea every afternoon. And so I wanted to share a few more items with you guys. Uh, these little um, oven mitts are from Amazon. They are so cute. I clearly have a thing for gingham. I think they come in a lot of different colors. Mine are well <laughs> used and loved. Also, this tea kettle, I purchased this tea kettle at an antique shop but I think I found one that's almost identical to this one on Amazon. So I'll have that linked for you as well. Um, it's a beautiful tea kettle and it works great. I've been using it for a couple of years now, I believe. 
And there are a few other items around my stove that I wanted to share with you. You've probably seen me using these lots of times. This olive oil dispenser is beautiful. I love the brass top. I have an olive oil and an avocado oil that I keep in these. Those are from Amazon. You can also find uh, like a pepper mill very similar to mine on Amazon. Mine was purchased at an antique shop. And then the same goes for this marble mortar and pestle. Um, you can find similar ones on Amazon. Mine wasn't purchased on Amazon, but anyways, all these fun little kitchen items. I got these at a thrift store, but I found the exact same set on Amazon. So anyways, just thought I would share those items with you, all fun stuff that I love having in my kitchen. So I'm going to go ahead and mess with the pleats on these curtains, kind of get them where I like them. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hang it up. The tension rod makes it really simple. I didn't want to commit to a rod that I would have to screw into the window frame because I'm not 100% sure that I'll keep these. Sometimes I put cafe curtains up and I keep them for a while and then I take them back down and I can't ever to decide if I like them or if I don't like them. So anyways, I just thought the tension rod was a perfect solution for now until I decide what I'd like to do. Sometimes I need to live with something for quite a while before I make a final decision. <laughs> but what do you guys think? I think that they turned out pretty cute for thrifted fabric and a cheap uh, tension rod and some cheap cafe curtain rings. And I think that it looks great in my kitchen. So just a few more items here. In the basement, I, I don't have a whole lot, but this faucet I remembered when I ran downstairs for something, I thought, oh, that was from Amazon. So <laughs> I thought I'd share that with you as well. Well, thank you guys so much for coming along with me today. I know I didn't have a ton of stuff to share with you, but I did have a few items. Probably a lot of it was lighting. Um, and hopefully it just gives you some ideas and inspires you. That's the goal always. Um, and if you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by, guys. Bye-bye.